بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہیلو ایوری ون ویلکم بیک ٹو دا پی ایل تھری ہنڈریڈ ایگزام پریپریشن سیریز ویئر وی آر ایکسپلورنگ دا تھرڈ لرننگ پیتھ ویژولائز اینڈ اینالائز دا ڈیٹا ان دس ویڈیو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس دا ٹاپک انکارپوریٹ دا کیو این اے فیچر ان اے رپورٹ وچ از پارٹ آف دا سیکشن آئیڈینٹیفائی پیٹرنس اینڈ ٹرینڈس وی ہیو ڈسکسڈ اے فیو اے آئی فیچرس ان سم آف دا پریویس ویڈیوز and in this video we are going to see another example of an ai visual which is a, which is the qna visual so let's go to the power bi environment and see how we can incorporate the qna feature in a power bi report so here i am going to go inside my visual library and here inside the ai visual so there are four ai visuals and the visual that we are going to discuss in this video is the q and a visual so let me just click on this q and a visual and this is going to open up on your canvas and it might take a few seconds before it it comes up so here it comes up with an with a interface where you are given a search bar kind of a thing so here you have some kind of a a uh, thing that you see in most of your browsers or your search engine so here in this area you can type a question about your data in addition there are certain suggestions that have been generated by power bi itself and you can add more suggestions by clicking here by on showing uh, all suggestions so let's first explore a few suggestion so i am just going to click here on the suggestion top customer cities by total quantity and then after a few seconds it should come up with a visual so after a few seconds you can see that in this area a visual which is a map visual has been generated and here it says that these are the top customer cities by the total quantity so i did not have to write anything power bi has used some of the knowledge which is there in the data to generate this visual so now let me just change this and let me just put put here something different so i am just amending it and i have instead of top customer cities by total quantity i have i have said the top customer cities by total cost and let me just click here on enter and now you can see that instead of the total quantity if i just hover my mouse here it has generating some uh, another visual where the top customer cities by total cost are shown let me just change this a bit again so i'm just going to say show me top 3 customer cities and then i'm going to press enter and now you can see that it has again changed the visual and it is showing the results for the top 3 cities uh let me just write something else here so i can uh, you know ask a question by uh, by saying that okay show the total transactions let me just type this so you, sim, immediately even before i have finished typing you can see that a card visual has been generated where the total transactions so the total transactions measure is there inside of my power bi data and it has automatically picked it up so so this is a very powerful feature and it allows your end user to actually ask questions about your data so uh, but the functionality of this visual depends on what kind of measures you have created what is the uh, nomenclature that you have used so if you have used a business kind of a nomenclature and remember we saw some of the some of the stuff while we were exploring the model view that you can create uh, certain synonyms so all of this is actually building up the vocabulary or the knowledge base of the qna visual so if i just go and click on the settings icon here a new window is going to come up so here you you can see that here we have some something related to the synonyms as well so let me just click here on the synonyms and here you are going to see that it is going to come up with a lot of synonyms that have some of these have been automatically generated or some of which you can actually populate and you can you know delete or you can even exclude or include in the qa so this is something very powerful so if you want the end users to be able to use google or search engine kind of a functionality in your report and you do not want the end user to actually do um, do something 
or you know in terms of writing dax or something like that and you have done enough and then the end user can just go and ask questions about the data and generate the visualization and power bi is going to help in this process so this is uh, something that has been improved recently so here you can actually go and actually teach the model what you want to actually show so you know this this proportion is actually something related to the machine learning kind of a thing so here you can actually uh, put in questions and then you know you can preview the results and and tell the model that okay this is the, the, the this is the stuff that i want you to learn then a lot of questions uh, you can review you know it it connects with some of the reports in the power bi service and based on those you can you know review questions and then you can also uh, suggest questions and add the questions that have been suggested by some of the other users in the environment so there is a lot of flexibility that is being added to this feature and this feature is becoming powerful with every passing day because the ai capabilities are improving day by day so just uh, spend some time exploring this feature and if you actually uh, are happy with with any of the visual and you want the result of the qna visual to become a part of your uh, report then you can come into this area and you can click on this uh, icon here which says that turn this q and a result into a standard visual and if i just click here then this will automatically become a part of my visualization as well so it's very simple in the uh, in the desktop environment and in the similar functionality is also available in the power bi service so we are going to uh, just touch upon that once we uh, go in the power bi service so this was all about the q and a visual and i'll catch up with you in the next video